In this video, I'll be going over the difference between the Sky Screamers and the Wind Seekers. What is up, y'all? This is your boy, Miss September's Fanboy MTF, coming in for video. In this video, I will be explaining the difference between a Sky Screamer and a Wind Seeker. So the difference is, let's first start off with a Sky Screamer. So the Sky Screamer is a Funtime Starflyer model made by Funtime, which is a Australian manufacturer. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Sky Screamer's height can average from 148 feet to 400 feet. The tallest um, Sky Screamer is at um, Six Flags. New England has the tallest Sky Screamer model so far. The speed of the um, Sky Screamer is 40 miles per hour. I really like the appearance of the Sky Screamer. The appearance of the Sky Screamer looks nice and interesting. Um, the ride, in my opinion, looks real um, creative. The way that Funtime made the um, Starflyer models. Um, so that's all I gotta say about that. So I'm gonna talk about the experience. So, when I went to Six Flags over Georgia in 2013, um, I was still GP back then, but I remember riding this. So, I got on the Sky Screamer. Um, I really liked the experience of the Sky Screamer. It was way um, more thrilling. It wasn't, like, it was way more thrilling compared to the Wind Seeker. When I rode Wind Seeker years later. Um... I, like just just in general, I like the experience of the Sky Screamer better. The ride wasn't too slow or too fast, so the ride was at a good pace. I mean, the ride was just hauling. It was it, the I wouldn't call it hauling, but you know it's like it spins around and stuff. But the ride was like really good. I like the restraints of the ride. Um, the restraints give you a little more room, able to like really move my legs and feel comfortable on the ride, which was. Good enough for me. Now I'm going to talk about the Wind Seekers. Finally, let's talk about the Wind Seekers. So the Wind Seekers height is 301 feet. All the Wind Seekers height is um, 300 feet. Um, the speed is 30, mi 30 miles per hour, um, which is a bit forceless. Usually the Wind Seeker has a few soundtracks, which is the same old thing. It's nothing unique. It's just the same old stuff from Harry Potter. It's like, the soundtracks are just okay. I wish they would just add more soundtracks instead of playing the same old thing all day, all night. So, let's just get to the right experience. So, when you're sitting on the Wind Seeker, um, I guess you'll pull up these bars and stuff, which um, you get in. The right op will put these, um, I don't know what's called, these bars on you, which staples you. Which, um, I almost didn't really get any circulation to my legs. I was getting stapled. My private areas were getting stapled. Um, so after that, um, one of the ride ops, um, said you're ready to go. So you send, you hear the, um, one of the soundtracks. It's, it takes the Wind Seeker a very long time to start spinning. And before you get to the very top, that's when it slowly starts spinning slowly until it gradually starts building up its speed so once um the wind seeker is on full capacity the ride is spinning around just like the sky screamer but um it's like you're just up there um you're kind of spinning around you sometimes you feel the breeze which is that's the good or that's what i like about the wind seeker that's really the only thing i like um this ride really feels weightless and forceless Compared to the sky stream even before you completely reach the ground the rotation seizes and once the rotation starts seizing um The um gondola or whatever it's called the ride um the swings start going down And it's just like you're flowing up there. You're not really doing anything It's not really spinning around before it goes down even before it halfway goes down the ride starts um, Ceasing the speed it like the the um basically just stops Ceasing speed, that's the most boring thing about it. It's like, even before the ride completely even goes down, it just starts ceasing its speed. And it's like you're just staying there, just spinning um, really slowly. And um, 
it's just a really boring experience. I believe, I mean, the Seer, I don't know why the Seer Fairy even got the Wind Seekers, to be honest. They were just a bad investment. The reason the Wind Seekers are really a bad investment is because um, the Wind Seekers in 2011 through 2012 were having problems. The Wind Seeker has been plagued with many problems to before. The Wind Seekers were being shut down all over each of the Cedar Fair parks because, you know, the Wind Seekers were stopping. Um, people were getting stranded on the Wind Seekers at that time. Luckily, I didn't ride it at this time. Um, it, it was a really bad experience for people. Um, some people didn't even want to really ride the Wind Seeker again, um, which I understand that. Even if there's high wind and stuff, like, just, like, average wind or high wind, the Wind Seeker just closes all of a sudden. Like, which, I don't really get it. It's like, you're supposed to be seeking wind, not avoiding wind. So, you're fair, you should get a new name for the Wind Seeker. Now, I believe I have a perfect name for the Wind Seeker. Instead of being called, instead of this ride being called the Wind Seeker, this ride should be called the Wind Avoider, because every time... There's high wind, the wind seeker closes, so I think that's why it should be called the wind avoider. That's all I gotta say. See you guys later.